This is Twit. Well, the shortcuts caller request for today came from Steve on Twitter. Uh, fortunately, he tagged me, uh, so I, I got uh, to see it. Uh, and Steve on Twitter asks, is there a Siri shortcut to find out how many times I wash my hands per day by taking data from my Apple Watch? Well, Steve, uh, the good news is there is, and I'm going to show you how to build this, and then we're going to put a link in the show notes to the finished shortcut so you can just download this. Now, if you uh, to start with, I need to actually press the button and share my iPhone so that people can <laughs> see it if they're watching the video stream. So when you create a new shortcut, first thing you need to do is add an action. And if you tap into the app section, then scroll down possibly, depending on how many apps you've got installed. Yeah, I've got a lot of apps here. Uh, and look for the health app. Then you'll see there are actually four actions here. So you can log a health sample, you can log a workout, you can get details of a health sample, or you can find your health samples. Um, and it starts by finding all your health samples, and then it, it, it narrows it down a bit. So it looks for steps, in the last seven days. So the first thing you need to do is tap on steps. Um, and this is not quite alphabetical order. So I'm just gonna cheat and type hand, which gives us hand washing. And then start date, if you just tap the is in the last for this, then you can change that to is today. Now, if we run this, in my case, this is no samples found because I've developed a habit of actually taking off my Apple Watch and scrubbing like up to here uh, when I really need to uh, thoroughly wash my hands. Uh, it's possibly not great. I should start logging my hand washing uh, instead um, with a shortcut, but we'll get back to that in a minute. So now we have our samples and we need to count uh, these. And so then uh, I will actually just uh, tap OK there and it's, it comes back with zero. So now we just need to give ourselves the results. And there's a great action for this called show results. But if we just do this like this, um, then uh, it's it, it tells me I've not got any health samples. That's okay. And they just says zero. And I don't know about you, Micah, but that seems like a pretty, you know, rubbish end of shortcut, you know. <laughs> You, you, you look at it and it's just like zero, great, or, you know, 10 or 100, whatever. But if we tap on this count, okay, and then we look down here at the bottom, in the top left of this, there's a little keyboard on a back button, and then you can actually go ahead and edit it. Now, I'm going to use a little trick that I know here, which is if you tap and hold on the space bar, then you can move the cursor. This is much easier than tapping around. Um, so now you can type something. You washed your hands count. Tap and hold on the space bar to move again, uh, times today. Done. Okay, so now when I run my shortcut, that's okay. You washed your hands zero times today. Oops. Well, that's not true. I promise it's not. I've washed my hands many times today. Uh, but this is what happens when you take your hands off every time. Uh, take your watch off every time. So now you can just go ahead and save that. I will not. I'll tap cancel. I'll just tap into the one that I created earlier. And uh, here it is, ready to share. So I can uh, just share that with some people. Uh, but instead, we'll put a link to that in the show notes for everybody. Because uh, this is a useful one. The count action is really useful um, for, uh, you know, people who um, uh, who who uh, have uh, the multiple things that they want to, you know, just get the number of. So, for example, if you've done seven workouts today, uh, I hope they were short. Please don't overdo it. Um, <laughs> but it's, uh, you know, it's it's really nice to just know uh, how many times you've done something. So uh, there we go. 